day, grade and learners. I am Teacher Anna, and welcome to another Matinic episode. Today, we will learn about circles and related terms defined. Are you ready? But before we start, kindly prepare your self-learning module, your pen, and paper to write your solutions and answers as we progress with our discussion. Also, look for a place in your home where you feel comfortable and safe. And most importantly, prepare yourself to watch and listen carefully. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to derive inductively the relations among chords, arcs, central angles, and inscribed angles. Prove theorems related to chords, arcs, central angles, and inscribed angles. So, what is circle? A circle is a set of all points in a plane that are the same distance from a fixed point called the center. A picture of a circle is shown at the right side of your screen. And now that you are familiar with circle, let's talk about its basic parts. Number one, radius. It is a segment whose endpoints are the center of the circle and a point on the circle. In plural form, we call it radii. Number two, chord. A chord is a segment that joins any two points on the circle. Number three, diameter. Diameter is considered as the longest chord. A diameter is a chord that passes through the center. And for number four, we have secant. A secant is a line that intersects a circle in two points. And for number five, we have tangent. A tangent is a line that intersects the circle at exactly one point. Again, the basic parts of a circle are radius, chord, diameter, secant, and tangent. Let's have some example. In this one, we're going to name the following based on the given figure. The first one is the name of the circle. The name of the circle is usually based on the point on the center. So the name of the circle is Circle A. And for the radii, we have line segment AF and line segment AH. And for the chord, we have line segment DG and line segment CD. And for the diameter, we have line segment HF. And for the center, we have point A. And for second, we have line BD. Again, for the second, we have line BD. And lastly, the name of the tangent is line BJ. Now that we are familiar with the basic parts of a circle, let's proceed to its secondary parts. Number one, central angle. The central angle is an angle whose vertex is the center of the circle. In the given figure, the central angle is angle CAD, wherein the vertex is the center of the circle, which is point A. Number 2. Arc It is a portion of a circle that consists of two endpoints, and all the points on the circle between these two endpoints. In the given figure, the two endpoints are 
C and D. And the arc is arc CT. Under arcs, we have three types. The first one is the minor arc. The second one is the semicircle. And lastly, we have the major arc. Minor arc. A minor arc is an arc with a measure less than 180 degrees. And the central angle that will be formed is an acute angle or an obtuse angle. Semicircle. This is an arc that measures 180 degrees. And the central angle that will be formed is a straight angle. And lastly, the major arc. It is an arc with a measure greater than 180 degrees. And the central angle that will be formed is a reflex angle. Let's have some illustrative examples. In the given figure, we have circle A wherein line segment BD is a diameter and angle BAC and angle CAD are central angles and arc BCD is a semicircle and its measure is 180 degrees and arc BC and arc CD are minor arcs and arc CDB and arc DBC are major arcs and if the measurement of angle CAD is equal to 70 degrees then the measurement of arc CD is also equal to 70 degrees and as for the measurement of arc DBC since the measurement of the whole circle is 360 degrees then we just subtract 70 degrees to 360 therefore the measurement of arc DBC is equal to 360 minus 70 which is equal to 290 degrees and for our last example determine the measurement of angle FBN and arc FUN the measurement of angle FBN is equal to angle UBN minus 20 degrees and since angle UBN is a semicircle which is 180 degrees then we have 180 degrees minus 20 degrees which is equal to 160 degrees therefore the measurement of angle FBN is equal to 160 degrees and in order for us to solve the measurement of arc FUN, we need to combine arc UN and arc UF. Since arc UN is a semicircle, which is 180 degrees, and arc UF is 20 degrees, then arc FUN is equal to 200 degrees. And that's it. I hope you learned something about circle. Again, this is Teacher Anna and see you on another Matinee episode.